Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Uh, today, from Katowice 2023, it's going to be Creator versus Dark. Here on Ancient Cistern, top right, going to be Creator. One of the best Protoss players, and in the bottom left, it's going to be Dark. Another best, one of the best Zerg players. They are both elite players. And they're facing off here in the round of 12, the playoff from Katowice. I watched this game live, and I said I gotta cast this one because it is very unusual for a PvZ in the current meta. Gonna block the hatch here with this probe? Uh, yes, indeed. So Dark says, oh man, all right. Everything's okay, though. I'll just go ahead and put my second hatchery here. Everything is kosher. And, yeah, man, so Dark is abjectly terrifying. Creator is not quite at that level, but we will see how Creator handles Dark and tries to win this game. Again, hit that like button if you're excited for another ZVP from Katowice. Woof! If you didn't catch the finals of Katowice that I, passed it, uh, that I um, posted and cast last week, check it out. It is Oliveira versus Maru. And if you don't like TVT, watch it anyway. There is super early action in every single one of those games. So, mm, so 16, 18, 17 timing here from Dark. Cybernetics core going down from Creator here on this nice and lush and verdant map. Got a lot of flowers here. We've got a lot of greenage. I like it when maps are green and happy. But I also like snow maps. So, hmm. The duality. The duality of StarCraft 2 map enjoyers. What? Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> oh, and an early third base. Okay. Yep. Delaying this queen so you can get down an earlier third base. The probe scattered it. And transferring drones all the way over here to what we're going to call the third base now. Terror the Overlord scouting out. Falcon Paladin dot store. Good place for Terry the Overlord merch. Falcon Paladin dot store. Stargate opening here from Creator. No surprise. No surprises at this stage of the game at 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Stalker first. Nope, oh, nope. Adept first. And then Stalker. Yes, yes, indeed. And place your bets. Is this going to be an Oracle? Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a Void or A? It is going to be a Phoenix. All of these things are incredibly popular and incredibly possible here, too. We've got to connect the creep. To all of your bases. Everything's cool there. And Stargate says. Survey says Oracle. All right. So this Oracle's name is. Oh, actually, let me pull that up here. I've got the list. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Oracle name list ready to go for which one of you. Which one of you. Ugh, whichever one of you <laughs> submitted it, we've got Wander. Wander the Oracle. If you ever see Wander roaming the lands, you'll know that eventually you'll find yourself in the shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Excellent. So, I haven't played Shadow of the Colossus. I know a lot of people love it. It's kind of an atmospheric, kind of a cool game that way, but not something that's been my cup of tea necessarily. Not its fault, just, you know, what it's doing. It does seem interesting, though. Just not enough for me to do it. Second Oracle coming in. Are we going to go for a third, fourth, fifth Oracle and go hero style? Mm -hmm. We're getting closer with a third one here, but still within the realms of normality. Third base warping in from Creator. Is Dark going to try to punish that or get a fourth base of his own here fairly soon? He's got a Spore up because he knows the Oracle exists. At least at the main base where he only has one Queen to defend against that and a Spore and a Queen at the third base, too. So... Pro players, they get the static defense as well. Look at this positioning on this queen. Early shots are huge. And trying to... Okay, again, two oracles. Okay, three queens and a spore is going to be enough. You need more than a queen and an oracle to deal with two... Or a queen and a spore to deal with oracles. 
You got to have something more than that. Three queens and a spore counts. Two spores and two queens, also good too. I don't know. Two spores and a queen going to be fine. We're moving into Phoenix play now. So the three oracles, nothing too crazy here. Not going to be hero style. Not going to be trying to use these to burn down ravagers or hydras or anything else. Yeah, I mean, just throwing down a revelation, trying to see the timing maybe on this lair. A Roach Warren is up. Oh, was that scouted? That was scouted. Okay. Is that scouted because of this revelation? Oh, that's insane. Oh, no, because of this drone that's been revelated. Okay. Neat. No! Terry the Overlord, why? Why must you die? Ugh. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Still waiting for a fourth base here from Dark and a little bit worried that he's not doing it. Where's this lair, too? Ah, it's up here at the third base. Neato. So, what's the further tech going to be? He's working on Roach Speed. This is not exactly a big, scary Protoss army, man. Unless you're going to fight with the Oracles. So maybe this is, like, kind of budget hero style, where you only have three Oracles with your Stalkers and your Sentries and your... Zealot and your adepts. What a weird timing this is. Two more stalkers joining the party here. Queens are going to be huge in this situation. Need the queens for the anti-air. And links can honestly handle the rest. It's just the problem is that oracles burn down your links pretty quickly. Creator poking in. Eh, doesn't really like what he sees. There's a fourth base coming in. Doesn't like that either. He's going to send everybody back home. All right. So that's, you know, maybe just a feint. That is something you can do. As the oracles cruise on in, I'm gonna lose. No, doesn't lose an oracle. Does not lose Wander. Have any oracles died yet? Goodness, goodness gracious! All three of them are still alive. Crazy good stuff here. Hmm. So Nidus. Whoa, Nidus network. Is this gonna be a Roach Queen Nidus? Oh, we haven't seen one of those in a while. That would definitely count as a non-standard ZVP build in the current meta. It used to be really popular. I mean, time has no meaning. Oh, it's Swarm Hosts. Oh, a Swarm Hosts. Man, number one Swarm Hosts were everything. And tons of PVZs were Swarm Hosts. And then Protoss was like, nah, we can handle it. We'll get Storms out. We'll get some Immortals roaming around to find those Nidus Swarms. We'll get some Colossus in there. Shield Batteries are going to be awesome here too. But Shield Batteries were nerfed. They don't heal as much as they used to. And they don't last as long as they used to on the Shield Battery Overcharge. So... Maybe that, maybe Dark is poking around that potential weak spot in Protoss now. At Katowice. <laughs> in game one. In game one of their series. This is amazing. So here comes the first wave. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. Let's go. The entire army is here. So like, I don't know. Just going to try to pick off a stalker there. Maybe go after some of these probes. Sure, six probes die. A couple zealots die. Uh, stalker goes down too. It's fine, but you have to keep in mind, the locusts are free. So everything you kill there, two zealots, a stalker, and six probes is free. Ta-da! Okay, now we got to start hunting for Nidus Worms, man. That's what this oracle is doing. That, oh, roaches coming in here, too. So roaches and ravagers in conjunction with swarm hosts. There we go. Oracles burn down that Nidus. Pretty strong stuff, honestly. If you can get a bunch of swarm hosts launching locusts with the support of Roach Ravager. This is a lot. A lot of swarmy hosts. It really is. Here they come. Archon's getting surrounded bad. Here comes everything. Chaos, great. Stasis catching half of these swarm hosts. He does launch all of them in here. Oh, the abject chaos. A cannon dies. Another cannon gonna die. I mean, I'd prefer to focus down the shield batteries with my locusts, but I don't know. It's dark. I'm gonna, not gonna tell him no here. Get back in the Nidus. Uh, why are you running away, Roaches? I mean, you could immediately evacuate into the Nidus and get home immediately, but I guess you didn't want to go home immediately. Upgrading some of these Roaches to Ravagers, now that they're so injured, would be cool. This Nidus Worm gets detected. Here we go. Brrr, burning it down. Another Nidus coming up on the high ground here as well, and Creator just holding back. Holding back for the time when he's going to be able, hopefully, to defend against this well enough and then counter, because Swarm Hosts on defense are bad. Unless your enemy is not smart enough to run away from the locusts, in which case they're fine. I had that happen in a team game recently. <laughs> where there was an army that came into our base. Oh, good. War Prism Micro there, picking up the Immortals. And 
and sending in any stasis traps this time. No, but shield battery overcharge. Doing all right. I mean, okay. Right? Right. It's getting some damage done here. Missile attack level two completing. If you have swarm host, you want to get that missile attack upgrade. Another Nida Swarm is discovered and killed here by this Adept. How embarrassing. An Adept killing a building is embarrassing for the building, especially if they are fairly sentient in the Zerg race. All right, more Roaches and Ravagers pouring up here. But again, what was that? That was me. That was not you, if you heard that unplugging and replugging sound here from Windows. I have no idea what that was. All right, so Richard and Ravager, a lot of immortals, as predicted. Maybe you can snipe this Nexus. 8, 9, 12, 15, 16 probes down, and a Nexus. Crater says, all right, enough of this. I'm on two base. Let's go ahead and march across and see. Ooh, Oracle sniping down a Lurker eggs. Very, very important there. The Oracles are all dead, though. 70 workers to 51 workers, 124 Army supplied a 99, but a lot of those are in Swarm Hosts, and they're on cooldown right now. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, okay, so what is this immortal count? 12. 12 immortals. The roaches are worthless in this. Locusts in base defense. Just run away. Just run away. Oh, Mr. Immortal. Dude, oof. Got saved by the war prism there. Uh, uh, another save by the war prism moment there and coming back in because there's another 30 seconds before he can launch another locust wave fourth base down immortals just yes there are hydras here oh sniping an overseer cocoon no dark templar here but just better safe than sorry and <laughs> There's not enough here without the Swarm Host. The Swarm Host launching another wave. And Creator moving on back again. And, oh man, just straggling Hydralisks. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Everything is A-OK -okay here in Creator Land. <laughs> oh, another immortal saved by War Prism. 29 drones. Are all there all right now? Pumping back in for another round here is Creator. The back and forth dance is deadly and beautiful to watch here. Creep tumor spreading creep. The swarm hosts are under attack here. Why do we have the swarm hosts here? Maybe just as a tank? All right, so launching another wave of locusts and GG Dark wins. Holy crap, he just Barely, barely manages to hold on there. Do I feel like Creator could have done this if he'd backed up a little bit here? Right? He's got an army value that's pretty good. Got Archons. The Hydra count is what's pretty scary, though. But he's winning. And I really feel like if he... When these Locusts launch, look at how quick it is from when the eggs are available. The Locusts are available to when they pop. Bam! Instantaneous. And then just back it out. Back it out. You still have like five immortals here. Okay, well, he never did rebuild his third base, which was a problem. And Dark makes it work in 2023. Insane. Like truly insane that he pulled that off. I thought for sure after Crater was on the advance there that he'd win. Because Swarm Hosts on defense are garbage. But I think the larger problem was that Crater was never rebuilt his third base. He was all in on that counterattack. And he just didn't respond perfectly to those swarm hosts coming down. So, oof. Oof. Tough, tough loss there from Creator. But Dark gets that win. 123 to 52 total supply. I mean, there's not a lot left there from Creator. And that is your victory. So, Dark. Looking good. Making swarm hosts work in 2023. And I like it. I like just kind of poking... Right? I like just kind of poking around, trying to see what new strategies work when a new patch is built. Anyway. Great. Great, great stuff. All right. So that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. 
You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.